Hello ladies and gents, I am the Rev. Welcome on back to more of Starfield. Last episode, we finally made it here. We're gonna go meet the Constellation people. Hey, Bosco! What? No bear? Let me guess. Protocol Indigo again? Your memory. And here's our new captain. My crew can take a look at your ship. And you can stop by the Trade Authority kiosk if you need to offload some cargo. Ah, uh, it takes a lot of money. I'm sure you can find something you like. That's not too bad. 56 grand. Oh, yeah, 57. Oh, I've got five grand. <laughs> That's a big one. Really? So we could sell that. That's so weird. I don't want to purchase it. Whatever. The Trade Authority runs a vending kiosk next to my booth. It's just off to the side, near the ramp. Besides that, Jemison Mercantile is your closest shop if you're looking for a bit of everything. That's further in, past the security checkpoints. Everything looks good here. I'll be at my booth if you need me. Oh, okay. So yeah, all the extra weapons we don't need, right? I'm gonna know what that mercantile... Oh, you know what we didn't do was look to see what you can actually buy. I'm sure this is the worst place to buy anything, but... Hey! Let's see, so we got just... Yeah, the stuff we just sold it, so yeah, he's got What can nothing. I do for you? Nothing, sir. Ship probably needs to be repaired, but we'll, we'll screw that I later. I you this unprovoked attack on a United Colonies research facility. You will be scanned as you enter the city. Please keep moving. Hotels and shopping. Mercantile Tavern, uh, Centurion Os. Oh, yeah, we definitely want to go in there. Oh my god, this is just going to be like a uh, shopping episode, right? <laughs> the viewport. Barrett enjoys this establishment. He frequently buys chocolate here. Though I have informed him repeatedly, it is likely a significant contributing factor to his being overweight. Wow. That if you don't is... see what you want, feel free to ask. Hi there. Thanks for stopping in. Feel free to look around. I can take care of transactions, and if you've got questions, just ask. Oh, wow. So, I don't know if you guys can notice this, but after playing Baldur's Gate 3, the way they did their facial animations versus these, ooh. Oh, please, take a look. Let's see. I'm going to have to figure out what kind of ammo that I need. Ooh, spacesuits. See, now I like that navigator. That's sharp looking. Ground crew, star roamer. Yeah, we're not going to do that. Oh, you can make all kinds of poor choices. Hmm? 
Thanks for shopping at Jemison Mercantile. Selling art is a bit of an art itself. I want to go to the coffee. I want to go to the mercantile. Or the uh, gun shop. Oh, crap. Okay. Oh, never mind. See, the one thing so far, and I haven't been able to find, is an actual mini-map. This is the closest I've been able to get to a map. Not a fan. At all. I mean, it's like, I can't... I mean... You know what I mean? So if you're looking for something... Yeah, that's the surface map. Anyways, I haven't been able to find a map, an actual map section, you know what I'm saying? That's weird, there's only half of the, the things. I'd assume there's another level up there that'll give us access. Let's go up real quick, see what it says. hydroelectrics for most of its power of course can you swim no you cannot swim but you can take shortcuts I just gotta watch that sprint but we may be in a United Colonies city but constellation is an entirely neutral entity, and always has been. Yeah, but that's not always a good thing. Saying your neutral is actually choosing a sign. The front door should unlock if you hold up the watch that Barrett gave you. I have messaged the other members of Constellation. They will be waiting for us inside. Welcome to Constellation. We have a lot to talk about. Would you care to tell us what happened to our friend? Why you're here and he isn't? I see. Vasco, verify. All statements made have been factual. Ugh. This is just typical. Barrett hands over our ship and our robot to some random employee of that discount mining outfit he uses. Walter. And if we hadn't insisted on installing those emergency protocols, I guarantee you this rock breaker here would be halfway to Neon. But that didn't happen. He's here with the artifact. Thank you, Matteo. Now, let's focus on what's in front of us, shall we? What happened when it was extracted? Did anyone see anything? Hear anything? Hmm. We think it's anyone else who pulls one out of the rock for the first time. Why? We're not sure yet. 
So if you wouldn't mind adding another data point. Interesting. Similar to Barrett's description of the experience, with less embellishment. <laughs> Are you hearing this? Do you all believe <clears throat> me Excuse now? Me. Whether it happened or not wasn't in doubt. But honestly, Country, if you expect us to believe in fairy If this is the greatest mystery in the universe, why couldn't it be part of the ultimate mystery? But gentlemen, can we please focus? Noel, I think it's time we tested your theory. Right. Let's see. We know the artifacts react to each other. The pieces we already have move when they're in close contact. Now, if we add this new one to the two we already have... The artifact. If you could place it on the table here. That's it. Just like the others. To imagine. We thought there were only two of them at first. Oh my god, that's it. They're reacting. Look at how it's coming together. That energy that's arcing between them, no manufactured material in the settled systems can do that. None of them. This proves Easy, that. girl. Breathe. You'll have a heart attack. She's not the only one. If they're coming together, that means there's a set. Built by an intelligence outside the settled systems. Still 2,000 credits for our little wager, Katrin? You're on, Walter. Well, if we had all the answers, it wouldn't be exciting, now would it? Not to take away from the moment, but what are we going to do about our new friend here? Yeah. <laughs> so, are you ready to get to work? See if exploration is the life you want to lead in this little universe of ours? We're all here because we're committed to exploring space. Humanity may have settled the stars, but that doesn't mean we should stop diving into the unknown. Beyond that, you'll be expected to use your own judgment, just like the rest of us. You should take some time to get settled in. Introduce yourself to everyone. Some of our members aren't here, but you'll meet them soon. Come find me when you're ready. You and I are going to be doing some traveling together. Get your feet wet. Oh, uh, I got a babysitter? I think you've earned something for bringing the artifact to us. In addition to credits, why don't we set you up with a backpack with some boost capability? Hmm? You'll need it out in the field anyway. Just mind your head. Hmm. Ooh. Okay. So, she said... <clears throat> Constellation pack. Physical. Oh, yeah, that's much better than anything else. We'll keep that on. Uh, what's the log key? It's the cat. What is this? Oh, it's just the explore pack, okay. Oh, look at that, we got 15 grand now. Here's a good chunk of change. What can I help you with? I'm a crypto. Let's see. Hi. What's up, Noel? Talk to me. That was intense, wasn't it? The artifacts, I mean. Oh, God, the lip syncing me off. This That's what's intense. It's all a little overwhelming for you right now. I guess a lot overwhelming now that I think about it. I'm Noel. It's really nice to meet you. And thank you for bringing the artifact to us. Planning on sticking around then? Good. I think we can find a spot for you. And along the way, I can give you the very abbreviated tour. Right. So you've seen the library, obviously. Walter's quite proud of the collection. 
but Mateo has made more than a few contributions. Gardens are out the doors there if you need a moment of quiet contemplation. Emphasis on the quiet part, at least usually. Let's head upstairs. Sebastian Banks, Constellation's founder, had this place built decades ago. Okay. It was a big Well, we gotta make time, sure we talk to everybody to begin with. Never know what kind of missions. Oh, what is that? Ooh, something underground. Okay, we'll do that in a bit. Hold on, huh? we gotta go to our room. Oh, I'm gonna get in trouble. Too many things to do. Too many things. Okay. Come on, Noel. That it? No. Yes. Did he put me all the way in the back? By the bar? Oh. So this is the bar. Usually no tender, so help yourself with the reason, of course. Now let's see about that room. You're in luck. We were almost at max occupancy already, but there's still one room up for grabs. It's been nice having the place so full. Okay, as long as I'm not directly behind the bar, because everybody knows that is a shit show. Sooner or later, people get drunk, they're assholes. Nobody wants that in their life. I don't. But damn, are we going f deep enough here? How many people are in this shit? Let me make sure I never close the door. Okay, this will be you. Common room on one side, so that'll be quiet, and Mateo on the other side, so maybe a little less quiet. I'm sure Sarah has something planned for each of us, so I'd better get back to it. Don't want to keep her waiting too long. Enjoy! Ooh. See, I just wish I could z zoom in on things a little bit better. Okay, put some stuff in there. Trying to lighten the load. What do we got? I don't want to take that. Why well, do I want to take that? It's my case to the watch. Okay. Oh, you can actually sleep, huh? Nah, we don't need to sleep. Sleep some pussies. Alright, hold on. I want to see what this downstairs thing is. This is where you get, like, specialty stuff. If there's anything specialty to get. Or they'll open it up later in the game. Ooh. Oh, so you can put mods on shit. Right on. Okay. Industrial workbench. So all the stuff you'd want in a base is down here as examples, I bet. I was going to say, is that a staple gun? Yeah, I'm stealing stuff out of people's rooms. Okay, what is going to... Where's the... Normally there's something, right? So you got to look around. Not necessarily anything in the toiletries. Medical stuff can't open. Ooh. But you gotta have... You gotta be master of that. Oh, shit. That sucks. See, that's what I was looking for. Coming down for something like that. Man. Shit. What's this? The well.
The well or the sewer? I'm just curious where this goes. Oh, it goes to an exit. Ooh. Chunks, okay. Weird music playing. Okay, hold on, I'm gonna run back through. Service, Captain. There we go. So, are you ready to get to work? Or was there something else? Yeah, we can get on it. We're going to be doing some old-fashioned detective work. The artifacts are relatively inert once they're out of bedrock. That means people can pass them around, not even knowing what they are. I've been letting my contacts know to be on the lookout for strange metal objects. Get back a lot of noise, usually. But a tip from the UC Vanguard sounds promising. Felt the same way when I started, too. There's an electricity in the air when you know you're about to uncover something. But it's not just that. I want to take this opportunity to see how you handle yourself, and for you to learn more about us. I'm going to be sticking with you for this. We'll be traveling together until we either find an artifact or this lead runs dry. Yeah, there we go. You mean besides the ship, the robot, and a place to stay all rent-free? Hmm. We do have some funds we can disperse from time to time. Not to mention, I think we can get you a proper suit. We're explorers. We keep a lot of equipment on hand for that purpose. So the more you work with us, the more we can share what we have. We'll need to head to Mast. Check in with the Vanguard recruiting office where my contact works. And listen, whatever you were before or whatever you do once you're out there, I don't care. So long as you don't bring UC security to our doorstep. Every member of Constellation is their own conscience. Understood? Yeah. Good. Let's take a little stroll through New Atlantis, shall we? It's been quieter around here ever since Vladimir went to live on the I full time. Let's see, I think. Man, we can fast travel that way. Oh, I'm a level three. Oh, I got a point I got to put in somewhere. Did we do that? I don't know. Okay, so mass. Up, oh, there it is, right behind us. Welcome to... Yes? You needed something? Not particularly. Enjoy your time in New Atlantis. Sarah, good to see you. Who's your yeah, friend? Yeah, he, he should have clicked Hopefully for us. Hopefully Constellation's newest member. Thought I'd... Uh, another space explorer. Hey, you ever think of joining up with the Vanguard? 
help the United Colonies, earn some credits, even get your UC citizenship? <sighs> I'm not joining shit yet. All right, all right. Can't blame me for trying, right? I mean, I still haven't given up on getting Sarah to re-enlist. It's a game we play. He asks, I say no. Here's what I got for you two. Vanguard volunteer by the name of Moera. Helps patrol the old neighborhood. Sol, Mars, Neptune, you know. The Sol system? Which Admiral did he upset to get that posting? He's Martian, born and raised. Not like I can get anyone else to care. Word is he's got some fancy metal ornament he's been showing off to the old grounders. Matches that description Sarah gave me. You kidding? Lowest posting request rate in the whole fleet. Only thing there the UC cares about is Mars. And no one wants to go to Mars. They want to get off Mars. Alright, good to know. Good to know. Soul system is a lot of planets. But a vet like Moera will be checking in at Sidonia on the regular. You mean hitting the bars, don't you, John? Hey, nothing wrong with a little refresh between patrols. Anything for Sarah. UC always takes care of its own. Even the prodigal children. Oh, brother. Oh, boy. I'm serious about that recruitment offer, by the way. You just come talk to me when you're ready. UC is a good friend to have. Yeah, until your emotions drop like that. Oh, God, that's... Uh, we already talked to Command him. Let's see. All right, that's where we would go, I think, next. Yep, that should take us right there. You're entering United Colony space. Maintain course and prepare to be scanned. And we're done. Enjoy Sidonia. Thank you. Okay. Where are we heading here? Carry our Venus. Titan. That's the easy way to do it. Alright, ladies and gents. Well, there we go. Put on a new suit. We're good to go. We'll check this area out in the next episode. Who knows what will happen? Could get bloody and violent. So, keep your heads down. You're warriors of doom up and all. See you again real damn soon.